Hello my family members. Today we are embarking into an exciting journey with Accenture of Campus Coding question asked in 23rd April 2023. Whether you are a budding programmer looking to enhance your problem solving skills or just curious about the challenges posed by top companies like Accenture, you are at the right place. In this video, we will be delving into a specific coding challenge that tested candidates' abilities to work with arrays, conditionals, and calculations. Before starting, I will request you to watch all previous year questions and Accenture specific tutorial with the link given in the description and please subscribe for the updates. Okay, let's go to solve the problem. Let's read the question first. Calculate the average of numbers divisible by 3 and the number is even at the same time. You have given you have been given an array nums and n where nums is an array and n will be its size return the average of the number divisible by 3 and should be even right input an array of nums with size n has been given right and the output is a single digit number should be written which is the average of all the required number right and here i took a sample input right okay let's solve the problem Def cal f at first the nums is an array and this is size right and take a variable that contains the total sum right so total sum is equal to at first zero and check if there is such number which is divisible by three and also even if there is any existing like such number if yes then we will check if no then obviously we will return zero right so uh, let's say we take this as count right so let's run a for loop for num in nums so we will check if num is divided by 3 and we will check if num is even that means is divided by 2 if so then add the number with the total sum right total sum plus is equal to the num right and we will increase the count by 1 right because if we get such number that is uh, num is divided by 3 and 2 then we will increase the count because we have to divide the total sum by count right so that is okay i think let's return the number average return total sum by count this is the formula of what average right but if we give single slash then it will give a float value we have to give double slash otherwise it would give i would return a float value right i think this is okay just we have to do one thing that is uh, let's say if there is no count right so if count is equal to is equal to zero or null right null sorry none then return zero right so i think this is okay now write the driver code let's say the array is equal to this right actually in the problem there was no sample input right that's why i have to take this input manually so 48 55 64 and 72 right let's run the for loop and n is equal to length of the array right let's print the cal f function that is containing array and size of the array right i think this is okay because uh, the 72 48 and 24 if you add them like 72 plus 48 is equal to 120 and 24 add then this will be 144 i think and if you divide them by 48 sorry huh, 
if you divide them by 3 then it will be 48 you know if you think this video is valuable for you then kindly join our channel and please share this video with your friends right thank you